Introducing low-end strings, the lowest hybrid sound design strings for productions that require weight and intensity. This library harnesses the power of deep frequencies by pushing string instruments to the limits of their lowest pitches. Traditional but processed string articulations with field recordings, subs, noise and synth sources. Then morph them with sound variations, macros and effects to create sounds that reverberate with deep cinematic intensity. The quickest way to get a feel for low-end strings is by browsing the snapshots and experimenting with the A, B and C sound variations, usually tied to your mod wheel control. Sound variations control layer levels, panning and six macros shown here. Basses are extremely deep and often punchy bass tones, suitable for many styles of music. With a three octave playable range shown here, we recommend playing towards the low end for total bass destruction. Playing higher up turns these sounds into melodic leads. Deep stomach churning pads have their own category, suitable for polyphonic playing across the whole range. The SFX category is where we store some really wild creations that don't fit into regular definitions. Play around with the range and layer controls to create bespoke sounds. Lastly, solo sustains are designed to play monophonically, the lower the better for rumbling hybrid scoring, and higher up for strangled melodics. The development process of low-end strings was as wildly creative as the sounds themselves, beginning as a huge variety of studio string recordings played across many articulations, these sounds have been twisted out of all recognition. Using a vast array of modern and vintage analogue and digital hardware from the last six decades, the creation process takes these strings deeper than ever before. A 24-channel Neve desk was used to chain together a massive variety of outboard effects and tape machines up to 12 stereo channels of advanced parallel processing for a single sound. 
to shape the character and presence of never-before-heard super low timbres. And it's not just strings. Since noise and field recordings were given the same treatment to embellish the strings in this four-layer instrument, this is the main page of low-end strings, making it easy to find the sounds you want and make the most of onboard layer mixing and sound processing. Click here for quick access to the main, mixer, edit and animate pages. The main page shows the sounds that are loaded into the four channel layers across the top. Each channel has options for activating and deactivating, along with volume faders. Click into a layer sound's name to open the browser, accessing sounds in five different categories noises, others, strings, synths, and subs. To quickly choose sounds for other channels, just select a channel across the bottom of the browser here. A couple of tips. The noises sounds are designed to be subtly added into a mix, so dial back on the volume of these. Subs have plenty of low frequency weight, so it's best to only choose a single sub as one of your four layers to prevent frequency masking and phasing. Back to the main page, and for fast inspiration, use the dice icons to pick a random sound. These will always be chosen from the currently loaded sound category to ensure the most musical results. You can also browse sounds with the arrows just here, again in the same category. Many of the fundamental aspects of the sound can be adjusted from this main page. Quick EQ adjustments are available with these two controls, taming mids or boosting sub-frequencies. Earlier we looked briefly at the ABC variations, now let's consider this creative feature in more detail. Think of the A, B and C variations as three sub-presets of the sound, with blending capabilities. You can click into A, B or C to hear how each of the settings affects the sound. With all presets your mod wheel is tied to this fader, to blend between the three variations. However, this is just the start. You can set each channel's level and the state of the six macros here to create a bespoke sound. Then click one of the little save icons here to save the state as a variation. Variation saves also recall the pan controls on the mixer page. If you want to tie your mod wheel directly to macro level instead of variation morphing, open this menu and click into any of the six macros you'd like to control. Animate, filter, space, echo, drift, and time. You can also quickly assign these by clicking to the left of each dial just here. The mixer, edit and animate pages are where you can get into the precise details of a sound, including applying effects, setting up macro ranges, filter and envelope settings, and sequence and LFO animation. The mixer page has views for channels and effects, just here. I'll just solo channel 1 so you can hear what's happening to the sound. But of course these effects can be applied to all four channels. In the channels view, Adjust the panning, space, and echo send levels of each channel. Click here to add a dirt effect. 
In the effects view, you can see what those space, echo and dirt effects actually are. With space, choose either a synthetic reverb or convolution. There are options for room and hall reverb and many different types of impulse responses. All of these have adjustable parameters too. Echo is a delay effect. Choose either modern, analog or tape style, along with free or tempo synced delay time and other parameters. Space and echo are send effects and apply to all four channels, whereas dirt is built as an insert effect and can be tailored to the sound of each channel in a different way. Choose a channel here and select either screamer overdrive, lo-fi bitch crushing, or tape saturation warmth. A quick explainer on the macro settings. Many of the parameters on the pages have markings coloured red, either rings as in the mixer page, or lines as in the edit page. These red markings indicate the intensity range that a parameter will be controlled by one of these six macros across the bottom of the interface, just here. To adjust the intensity range, either positive or negative, just click and drag on the small up-down arrow icons. You'll see the relevant macro dial coloured red for a short time to help you identify where that parameter is assigned. For example, with the space parameter, I can set the default value to minimum, then use the up-down arrows to set a maximum macro range. Then when I move the macro here, you'll hear the reverb increase. Or vice versa, setting the default to maximum and setting a negative macro range. Be aware that some parameters apply to the same macro dial, for example filter cutoff and resonance, which are both tied to the filter macro. The edit page contains sound editing and amp settings for the four channels, selected across the bottom here. Like the main page, for each channel you can choose the sound here, then adjust its pitch and random sample start point. Tie your note velocity to filter cutoff and volume just here, allowing for more dynamic playing. Filter controls are here, including five different filter types. Envelope controls for volume and filter are here, useful if you want to extend short sounds into longer pads or shorten sustained sounds into more punchy basses. The time macro is tied to the attack and release parameters of the volume and filter envelopes. The animate page is where you can bring motion and pulses to your sound. It has two views, step sequencer and LFO. The step sequencer has presets here, or you can design your own sequencers up to 32 steps. Just drag in the sequencer. Step speed is here. Up to four destinations can be assigned. Just use the drop downs to assign the sequencer to volume or filter cutoffs of the four channels. Don't forget that the intensity of the sequencer destinations is tied to the animate macro. Which can make for some dramatic transformations when combined with other macro settings. The LFO page is where you'll find controls for introducing analog style pitch drift to your patch. Just tweak the speed and intensity here and assign the drift to up to four channels. This behavior is tied to the drift macro.
Several different LFO shapes can be assigned to panning, volume and filter cutoff of the four channels. Just choose from the drop downs. Just like the step sequencer, the intensity settings of these parameters are tied to the animate macro. Those are the basic concepts within low end strings. As you can see, the ABC sound variations and macro editing make this instrument a supremely flexible workstation of full fat hybrid tones. I've only had the chance to showcase a few of the stunning samples here. There are plenty more super deep organic and processed sounds to discover. Check out audio demos and more at nativeinstruments.com. Thanks for watching.